Did you know that every star you see in the sky is more massive and brighter than the sun? Only a few extremely dim stars out of the about 5,000 that are brighter than the magnitude 6 are around the same size and brightness as our sun. The rest are all larger and brighter. Don't you find that interesting? When was the last time you gazed at the stars on a clear summer night? There isn't a single cloud in the sky. How did you react when you first noticed that incredible concentration of stars? Just wait till you see the breathtaking images of so-called star clusters, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. If you want to be kept up to date on James Webb Space Telescope news, NASA announcements, and other space-related news, then like and subscribe to this video. Let's dive right in. Number 1. A Remarkable Double Cluster Young, globular-like star cluster in the Large Magellanic Cloud, one of our neighboring dwarf galaxies, surrounded by a pattern of filamentary nebulosity, thought to have been generated during supernova blasts. Extremely hot blue stars and fainter red T Tauri stars make up the younger, smaller cluster seen below and to the right of the main globular cluster in the center. Due to the stellar diversity, the mechanisms involved in star formation may be examined in great detail. Number 2. Star Cluster R136 This incredible photograph of the star cluster R136, which is located 170,000 light-years away in the constellation Doradus, looks just breathtaking. R136 is a cluster of young, brilliant stars that may be found in the constellation 30 Doradus. A group of astronomers made the initial discovery of the cluster in the year 1994. Number 3. The Arches Star Cluster The Arches Star Cluster may be seen emerging from the center of our galaxy, which is where the Milky Way is located. The huge cluster is located 25,000 light-years away and is the densest known gathering of young stars in our galaxy. Despite being obscured from our perspective, it is the largest known gathering of its kind. The animation is based on infrared observations made with the Hubble Space Telescope, as well as with ground-based observatories. These views pierced the dusty core of our galaxy and took images of the bright cluster of approximately 2,000 stars. Number 4. Birth of a Galaxy Around 12.7 billion years ago, when our Milky Way galaxy was just beginning to take shape, that long ago, our galaxy's grand spiral arms had not yet developed, and the sky was filled with globular star clusters. One of the many hundreds of primordial globular star clusters that joined together to form the galaxy is the bright blue star cluster in the middle left. The globular cluster M4 in Scorpius is the current incarnation of this particular cluster. The oldest white dwarf stars in the cluster were discovered by astronomers using Hubble. The dwarfs act as clocks for measuring the temperature-based age of the cluster. In this piece of art, the cluster is crammed full of youthful blue-white stars that likely formed several hundred million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy's center is forming to the right of center. A new supermassive black hole is surrounded by lanes of dark dust. The young black hole, which is engorging itself on stars, gas, and dust, is spewing an extragalactic jet of fast material into space. Pink bubbles of hot gas are produced around each star cluster as a result of a series of supernova explosions from the most massive stars in the cluster. Number 5. Symphony of Colors Tarantula is a huge milky patch in the southern sky, about 170,000 light-years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud (LMC). According to astronomers, this relatively small, irregular galaxy is going through a particularly turbulent time in its history. It has passed rather near to the Milky Way multiple times during its orbit. The Tarantula Nebula is a remnant of a burst of star creation thought to have been triggered by the merger with the Milky Way. Number 6. Blue Stragglers Stars that are blue and extremely luminous but have a higher mass than the average for a cluster tend to sink with time 
earning them the name Blue Stragglers. Those closest to the center of the cluster move inward first, followed by the blue stars further out. Number 7. A Galaxy Swarm A galaxy at the center of a crowded cluster of galaxies in the region of Coma Berenices is encircled by a swarm of star clusters. In the center of the Coma Galaxy Cluster is NGC 4874, a giant elliptical galaxy around 10 times the size of the Milky Way. There are more than 30,000 globular clusters of stars in its grasp, making it the most massive galaxy known to humanity. And it also contains a few dwarf galaxies. Number 8. Multiple Generations of Stars Hodge 301 is one of the oldest known clusters of stars. Its star population has been largely decimated by supernovae. The explosions of these stars have crushed the filaments in the upper left corner. In other parts of the image, future news heroes are being nurtured. In other parts of the image, future new heroes are being nurtured. A cluster of extremely massive stars known as Hodge 301 can be found in the most active starburst zone in the local universe. Hodge 301, seen in the image's lower right corner, is a member of the Tarantula Nebula's resident population in the Large Magellanic Cloud, our nearest neighboring galaxy. Number 9. Trumpler 14 Here we see the star cluster Trumpler 14 via the eyes of the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope. This cluster contains some of the most brilliant stars in the Milky Way galaxy, and it's one of the biggest concentrations of such hot, massive, and bright stars. This large patch at the cluster's center is a Bach globule, a small dark nebula composed of dense dust and gas that has been observed to exist on its own. Their density and structure are still a bit of a mystery, therefore researchers are currently hard at work trying to figure them out. Number 10. Trumpler 14 in the bigger picture. The stars and dust in the Carina Nebula are depicted in stunning clarity in this color composite image. Located in the Carina Nebula, the open star cluster Trumpler 14 is highlighted in red. This cluster is composed of exceptionally luminous, youthful stars. Number 11. Infant Stars in Close Galaxy A population of newborn stars currently emerging from collapsing gas clouds has been uncovered by the James Webb Space Telescope of NASA and ESA in the nebula NGC 346. There is no sign of any nuclear fusion happening because they have not yet lit their hydrogen fuel. The least massive of these newborn stars has only half the mass of the Sun. Number 12. An Arcade Adventure The young open star cluster IC1590 has been studied by astronomers using the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope. It's located within the star formation region NGC 281, sometimes known as the Pac-Man Nebula, for its similarity to the iconic arcade game character. The image focuses on the brightest stars at the cluster's core, with the black region below representing the ravenous mouth of the Pac-Man Nebula. Number 13. Trapezium in Orion the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope investigated a nearby stellar nursery and discovered a swarm of newborn brown dwarfs. Roughly 50 of these objects were spotted by the orbiting observatory's near-infrared camera within the trapezium cluster in the Orion Nebula, which is located about 1,500 light-years from Earth. Number 14. The Cluster with a Secret this image of Messier 53 was taken by the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope and shows the globular cluster in stunning detail. The cluster is held together by gravity and has a roughly spherical shape, growing denser in the center. Including Messier 53, the Milky Way is home to around 150 of these gigantic, glittering orbs. It is about as far from the galactic center as the Sun is from the Sun and it is located on the galaxy's outer margins, where many other globular clusters are found. William Herschel, a prominent astronomer who was not known for his poetic tendency, once described a globular cluster as one of the most beautiful objects I remember to have seen in the heavens, and it's easy to see why. Number 15. The Wing of the Magellanic Cloud 
Magnetic activity in young stars can be detected in their light. A star's rotation rate and the rising and falling of hot gas in its center can be deduced from its magnetic activity. Scientists speculate that if young stars' luminosity features are consistent across the galaxy, then other relevant properties, such as planetary formation, are also likely to be consistent. We appreciate you watching this video. Which image captured your attention the most? Comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the like and subscribe button to make sure you miss nothing on new information regarding NASA news, the James Webb Space Telescope, and other space-related developments. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you in our upcoming video shortly.